What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. And in this video, we are going over our last concept for our worldwide celebration in an LR Omega Shenron. It starts from Sin and goes to Omega Carnival Int type. I think that just fit him best. So let's go with the leader scale. Battle of Fate category, key plus four. All stats 200. Unbelievable leader scale. Alright, let's just get right into it. Sin Shenron, passive skill, key plus three, attack and defense 175%. Reduces damage received by 10%. Uh, guards all attacks for five turns. Gains an additional 10% damage reduction per GT boss character on the turn. Performs an additional attack that has a medium chance to become a super. Gains an additional defense plus 10% per attack received for the turn. Plus an additional attack and defense per super attack performed for the turn. Battle of three category allies. Key plus 1. Attack and defense plus 20%. Plus an additional key plus 1. Attack and defense plus 30%. If extreme class and then transforms when conditions are met. So overall... Decent, um, off, um, defensively, pretty strong on offense. Um, obviously, these, um, support for the Battle of Fate category are, don't include him. So, like, self excluded on those. Yeah, but defense plus 10% for attack with seed sounds pretty good. And then attack and defense plus 10% per super attack performed. So, that's not terrible. Because you're not going to be sitting in this state for a while anyways. Transformation conditions can be activated on the 4th turn when HP is 80% or lower. Or on the 6th turn from the start of battle. So pretty good transformation conditions I would say. Alright, as um, Sin Shenron state super attack effects. As the 12 key greatly raises attack and defense for 1 turn. The 18 key massively raises attack for 1 turn. Greatly raises defense for 3 turns. And then you transform to Omega. Key plus 5 attack and defense 255%. Plus an additional 45% attack and defense per attack received for the turn up to 135. Obviously you have to limit that because that's not fair. Reduces damage received by 30% for the first 5 turns from character's appearance. Guards all attacks. Performs 2 additional attacks that have a great chance to become a super. Battle Fleet Category Allies Key plus 2 Attack and Defense plus 40% plus an additional Key plus 2 Attack and Defense plus 25% if Extreme Class plus an additional 15% Attack and Defense if also on GT Bosses Category Self Excluded. Crit Chance plus 15% Chance per Attack Received uh, for the turn I meant to put there. And then 70% Attack when Super Rain, 70% Defense after Super Rain. Key plus 2 per orb obtained, performs an additional super after performing 7th super in battle, and performs unit super attack when character with the name of baby is on the turn. So, it's going to be like a cool little Dokkan original for that unit super. This guy is powerful. Pro could be number 1, man. Like all the support he's giving, and then he's just so strong, man. Like, this 45% goes to 135, yes, but then he has 30% damage reduction, he's supering, he's getting crits, like, keys easy for him, like, this is a destructive unit. Wait till you see his super attacks. Alright, his active skill can be activated after receiving his 5th attack in battle, or performing his 5th super in battle, so, not very hard to get. Causes ultimate damage and temporarily raises his attack. 12 key greatly raises attack and defense for one turn. 18 key greatly raises attack, massively raises defense for one turn. And then the unit super massively raises attack and, and defense for one turn. So, we didn't give him the three turns on this because I, I don't want to make that that crazy. So, I think one turn is efficient when you're massively raising. And then plus, check this out. He gets an additional super on his seventh um, super in battle, right? So that's one super plus the super he gets. So that's two. Two additionals here. So he can do five supers. And then you massively raise an attack, which was, I'm pretty sure it's 100% per thing. So he's just really, really strong. So let me know what you guys' thoughts on this sin to a Mega Shenron LR here. 
anything you would add or anything you'd get rid of. Thank you guys for watching. Drop a like. Thank you guys so much for all the support recently. I appreciate it. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you're new. And we will see you in the next video. Peace.